A minority government situation, as you've mentioned, is looking more likely after voters head to the polls Monday. That could leave the winning party reliant on others in order to get some policy passed. To explain what that could look like, we are joined this morning by The Globe and Mail's Stephen Chase. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, let's start with both the NDP leader Jagmeet Singh and Green Party leader Elizabeth May, both suggesting they'd be unwilling to prop up a Conservative government, whether they form opposition or government. What could this mean for the Tories in a minority situation? It means the Tories would be the least likely dance partner for these other parties. Um, it looks like, as things stand now, as, as you've talked about, we, we look like we're heading for a hung parliament where no party has a majority of seats. And uh, you need 170 seats to, uh, to be able to pass legislation, to be able to survive confidence votes, pass budgets. And so it, it, it looks like uh, a more likely pairing would be the Liberals and the NDP and possibly the Green if, if even more votes are needed. But what we have is a situation where the Conservatives are kind of the, uh, the dance partner that's left on the side here. It's interesting to note that back in the uh, early days of the Harper minority government, back in 2006, uh, the most important votes, of course, are called budget votes or confidence votes. Mm -hmm. And the first two budgets were actually passed uh, by the Conservative Party with the help of the Bloc Québécois. It was not a coalition, but the Bloc Québécois support was crucial to getting uh, the 2006 budget and the 2007 budget passed. Uh, Nano's polls currently predict a liberal minority with the NDP holding the balance of power. So with Trans Mountain being a major point of contention between those two parties, what concessions could be made for the two of them to cooperate? Well, it's interesting you mentioned Trans Mountain because earlier in the campaign, Mr. Singh, uh, the NDP leader, had been talking about, uh, had been suggesting or implying that, uh, you know, owning a pipeline was not something he was willing to, to brook to bro if, he was, uh, if he was supporting a liberal government. Uh, but then he came out with a list of conditions recently uh, that we take to be conditions for supporting a Liberal government, and the pipeline was missing from that. In fact, other things he wanted to see were things like uh, a national pharmacare program, you know, getting rid of student loans, uh, tax on the ultra-rich, and so on. So the pipeline um, condition seems to have disappeared. Uh, some projections have shown that support for the Bloc Québécois is increasing. So if the bloc ends up with a balance of power, what will they be looking for in order to work with either the Conservatives or the Liberals? I would suspect that they would be looking for any kind of measures that would be seen as giving more power to Quebec, more decentralization. Uh, that would be crucial to them. All, obviously as well, they're a, they're a social democratic party, so uh, spending for Quebec, extra money for Quebec uh, subsidies, extra money for social uh, sort of social welfare spending, but also uh, moves towards decentralization. One of the things the Conservatives did when they were in power in the minority government, you'll recall that they passed a motion declaring or recognizing Quebec as a nation. That went a long way in those early days of the minority, Harper minority government towards uh, building support in Quebec. Stephen Chase, good to talk to you from Ottawa this morning. Thanks so much. You're welcome. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.